like in many cities of our country and throughout the world, violence is something that is too much our daily reality. Violence in our streets that has also uncovered other layers of violence in our homes, our families, and even in our own hearts. What I'd like to speak to you about today is St. Francis of Assisi as a man of peace. Most people know that about St. Francis, no surprise there. But what most people don't know about St. Francis are some of the circumstances that led to his accepting that peace from God in his own life. In 1202, there was a particularly bloody battle, the Battle of Colostrada, that took place between the rival cities of Assisi and Perugia. St. Francis fought in that battle as a young knight, and he survived it and was a prisoner of war for many months until his father ransomed him. What that tells us, and it's just a theory, is that Francis probably killed rival soldiers. Francis probably had to face the fact that he murdered someone in battle. We don't know that, it's not written down, but the fact that St. Francis survived such a bloody battle makes it clear that something happened that had a profound effect on his life. It was that experience of facing the violence in himself and the violence in his world and to choose another way that led him to a profound peace with God that spilled into a profound peace with his brothers and sisters and all of creation. It's a great consolation for us because as we deal with violence today, the violence that is out there and the violence that is also in here, we know that peace comes only from facing that violence head on and refusing to pass it along. It's that kind of prayerful, and courageous confronting of violence that leads us to peace in God, peace with our brothers and sisters, and peace with all of creation.